are back in our new paradise, back at the marina. Uh, what you just saw was yesterday, we spent Saturday in Plymouth, uh, making design clothing and so there was the first market back up and running um, that I am involved with and so I exhibited there and it was really cool and Plymouth was like such a such a nice place to visit, We'd ne I'd never really been there. Uh, Paul walks around a bit and yeah it looks really cool I think before we leave the southwest we're gonna have to revisit but yeah so kind of cut our weekend in half uh, with the boat but we drove up last night and we've yeah had a nice line this morning but Paul is staying in workman's paradise and fixing up some things on the boat and I'm off to pick up a sander that we ordered and get a new plug for our kitchen sink which doesn't work so popping by the hardware and then when I get back I am going to fill you in on the rest of our plans and just tell you a little bit about where we've been and where we're going to so see you in a bit. on where we're going from here so obviously we plan to live on board Annabelle she's gonna be our home uh, but we've got a journey to take her to the marina where we're gonna keep her for the first year and that's where we're gonna live on board um, and that's further north than we are so we're near Reading and yeah it's about a 12 day potentially two week give or take trip to actually move her up there and because we're quite novice boaters um, we wanted to use this time maybe to like paint and try and get her looking like we want her to look but it's just more important at this point we've realized there's so many little small things that we didn't realize needed to be fixed like we checked all the big stuff before we bought her made sure that she's like structurally sound the engine all that kind of thing but um yeah these small little things just keep popping up and we also realize there's just so much that we need to still learn uh paul's been hard at work Oh, I'll fix the toilet. Um, big know. one. Okay, that was a big job. Yeah. Like, that was what you saw last weekend. And you still need to fix the gauge. Yeah, the gauge is not working. Like, literally all those pipes in there were They're blocked. Blocked. Of, yeah. <laughs> were full of poo. Yeah. Like, crazy that we, like, I don't know who sells people boats like that. But, yeah, we're glad mm. that job is nearly over. Uh, yeah. The toilet works now perfectly fine uh, both the circuit breaker for the AC wasn't tripping so I had to put in a new one of those so I did that when we got here so we had AC power the water gauge oh yeah the water gauge kept on telling us that we had no water so I just recalibrated that and measured and filled it up and, it, and emptied it out so it gives us the correct le reading for water yeah, and then now I'm just going to seal the shower before we go home oh, and put all the crash covers and stuff on that we took yeah, home. Yeah, the crash covers, like they were, the back one was folded down when we bought her, so we thought maybe we'd have to replace them. So we were like, okay, um, we expected to have to do that. But once we took everything off and uh, one of Paul's friends was super nice and lent us his pressure washer. So we took them all home and we pressure washed them in our backyard and they're actually in pretty good condition. Yeah. It's just that, like, now we notice the one bar. Yeah, the bar, the, like, the main bar is bent. And I think when that got bent, obviously they hit something and then it broke all the the mounts, mounting points that it mounts onto. 
Um, so we're going to have to work out, it sheared the screws off inside the steel plate. So I've got to try to work out how to get those out. Um, yeah, that's going to be tough. So it's all these like small, well, some of them are actually big things, but it's these small things that you realize now that we're on board and spending time. Mm. We're planning for this trip, which is going to be first or second week in September. And yeah, it's like no, a we deadline. We still haven't tested out the heating and the hot water. I still have to test all that stuff out. Uh, it's just been too hot, so I didn't want to even think about testing the heating, but... And we just don't want to be stuck on a it. yeah. I've got to test it. Stuck on a two week cruise, continuous cruising, and have anything go wrong. So, mm. yeah, that's what's happening next. Um, I'm gonna do what I can. I'm not as handy as Paul is. Paul is the leader of the ship, <laughs> let's say. But I'm gonna be doing some new curtains. The other ones were just like oh, full of spiders and um yeah not in great condition so we dumped those and that'll be as much of a facelift as she's getting for now but yeah, i don't think we're gonna paint anything in the no inside. we're gonna wait we're just gonna get it ready to go and we can sort it out when we get to the other side as long as everything works yeah how it's meant to work as long as we can get it to that stage get all the lights and stuff working some of the running lights on the back all smashed up as well so i've got to sort that out uh, it's just all small jobs, but the small ones tend to take the longest to do to source all the parts and get all the bits and pieces. I still have to do the service. I'm waiting for all the parts for the service of the engine. Mm. Yeah, so uh, that's where we're at. And that's our deadline is the beginning of September. Uh, she's got to be all ready, which is not a lot of time when... Uh, Paul works during the week and so we've only really got weekends to do all the stuff so yeah that's where we're at so we just want to let you know that uh exciting things coming and we basically just getting her up to scratch for our first long journey Get back to work. I kicked my toe on that thing. Get back to work. Excuses, excuses. I kicked this thing. Oh. Rookie error. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. So the spider situation is a pretty real deal on board at the minute. So we picked up some uh, pure essential peppermint oil. And apparently if you mix it with, well, a few drops of that in some water and some dishwash liquid, it is a spider repellent. The spiders are pretty insane. And it's not that we're like, they don't bug us that much. It's just they are a bit creepy, like, let's be real. And um, yeah, so this, we Googled it and this seems like the friendliest way to sort of deter them. Um, I don't know, do other voters find the same thing? And like, what's everyone doing with the spider situation? Or are you all just like happily um, getting along? Uh, yeah, cause it's like, as soon as you wipe them down uh, and get rid of all the waves, they're kind of just back. something <laughs> it did say on google that it's not scientifically proven that the peppermint oil concoction works but it does make your boat smell minty fresh 
how cute is this so in the <laughs> bathroom at the marina where we are at the moment they have this like little dvd rental section you can just like borrow the dvds for free and then return them and yeah the selection is um as you would expect not the greatest um but it feels so cool and old school um i got us a selection i've tried to like cater for paul but i ended up going with a bit of 90s vibe mel gibson who doesn't love that um yeah and like the little i'll show you here excuse the mess on board but our little um tv has got like a dvd uh player in the back which is like super old school we even have this little um little cd player um <laughs> so yeah um i guess it's great and um, before we've got like proper tv and that set up we've got something to watch <laughs> Thank you. 